Hello guys, today we are going to test our implementation of Play Billing Library 7. For this, I have added my email address inside the license testing and I have logged in with the same email address in my emulators. And inside the subscription, I have created the ads removal subscription with the ad ID ads removal. And these two subscriptions are for the previous version of billing library. For the latest version, we have to follow the new way of creating subscriptions. So let's see how it is configured. Here I have created two base plans inside this product. One for one year subscription and another one for six month subscription. So we have to paste this product ID inside our strings files, which I have already done. It is required to fetch you both subscription details inside the app. And for this video, I am using the Android Studio Zellifish version and two Android emulators, one with Pixel 8 and API 4, another one will be Pixel 8 Pro API 35. API 35 is the latest version as of now, therefore I am using it. So let's see the integration. In this video, we will be testing four things. One is purchase flow, then we will see multiple device purchase sync and then outside purchases sync and expiration of purchases handling. So let's begin the testing and I am opening my emulator here. Let's open our app and uh, as you can see here is a subscribe here button on clicking on this button we will see both subscriptions here we can click on the buy button on clicking on this buy we can subscribe to this product so for now let's test with the test card which always declines and on clicking on the subscribe button it is showing us the error declined by always denied test instrument on clicking on the got it we see we can see that purchase cancelled and uh, now let's try buying another subscription with working card and here let's click on the subscribe button and no thanks okay and the subscription is purchased successfully now we will click on the not now button and as you can see purchase completed successfully and if i press the back button the text of this box is changed. You are a prime user. It is showing that the user has successfully purchased a subscription and he has got the benefits of the app. Now we have successfully completed the first use case test, which is purchase flow, and it is working fine. Now let's check the multiple device purchasing. For this, I am opening my second emulator. And uh, here, I will clear the data of this app clear storage so now uh, when i open the app it will be like the first time install and the fresh install so let's open our app and you can see here it is saying that you are a prime user so basically it has synced our purchase from the first device into our second device as well because we are logged in with the same email id in both the devices so we have also tested our multiple device purchase sync and it is also working perfectly so now let's see the case of outside purchases. So what is outside purchases? As its name suggests, it is the purchases made outside the app. For example, if I am using the same application in both of my devices at the same time. So if I purchase the subscription in my first device, then it will be the case as a outside purchases for the second device. Here for testing this feature, we will have to wait until the subscriptions expiry. Okay guys, so our subscriptions are expired now. So let's test the third case as well. Here I am going to purchase the subscription. Let's say ads removal for six months. Click on buy button and subscribe. And here we have successfully purchased the subscription and toast is also showing same. And here you are a prime user is displaying. Now, how we can sync this purchase in the second device? in which we are already using the application. For this, we can utilize the sync purchase button. On clicking of this button, it will ask us for app restart. On clicking on the OK, it will restart the app and sync the subscription from first device into the second de device. So here it is showing us you are a prime user. So we have also successfully tested our outside purchases. Now only the expiration of purchases handling is left. So what is expiration? Basically, when the subscription expires, we have to 
remove all the benefits of the user. For that, let's go to the Play Console, sorry, Play Store, and check the subscription expiry timing. Let's suppose user has cancelled our subscription from the Play Console. As you can see, that subscription will be cancelled and the cancellation time is 157. So let's wait for the 157 and then I will show you how it works. Okay, guys, so it is 158 now and our subscription is expired. So let's open the app and see whether it is working or not. So here I have opened the app and you can see that you are not a prime user. So basically, it has removed the all benefits of user on expiration of the subscription now let's also check it in the first device so here i will close the app and on relaunch the app it is not showing us any kind of toast and it has also removed the user subscription benefits and showing that you are not a prime user now if you try to buy the subscriptions again it will allow us to buy it but if we are already a prime user then it wouldn't allow us to buy the same subscription again let me also show it to you we are going to buy this subscription again and now we are a prime user and if we are a prime user for any product we can't buy it again so if i try to buy the same subscription again it shows that the, you are already a premium user for this category item so that's all for this video in the next part of this video we will see how to implement this in the next part of this video, we will see how to implement these all features inside our application in a simplest and easiest way. Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.